Welcome to a new series where I play the DLC for a game I've already got the Platinum for and what better game to start this series off than Resident Evil 4 Remake. Today I'm going to be getting all 7 trophies from the Separate Ways DLC. Now let me just start off with this was one hell of a challenge. The RE4 Remake Platinum is rated at an 8 out of 10 in difficulty and I would honestly rate this higher than that. So why you might ask, well we have to get an S rank on Professional. What does that mean? Well, it means saving less than 10 times. So if I die, I need to head back to the main menu and load my manual save. Probably did this over 200 times altogether. Also for the S rank, you have to start a new game. So no new game plus, no upgraded items. And finally, we had to do it in under two hours and 30 minutes. So sit back, relax, and join me as I tackle the RE4 remake separate ways DLC. So to begin with, for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to start my first playthrough on Hardcore. It wasn't a good idea. So don't be like me, play on an easier difficulty to start with, get familiar with the game, and then bump the difficulty up. So first things first, I'm going to pop the trophies that I got from my first playthrough. The first one I got was Giant Slayer for defeating El Gigante. Come on, die for crying out loud. Yes, there we go. Oh, we got a trophy as well, Giant Slayer. Hell yes, let's go. That's the first trophy. Next, we got It Kept You Busy for defeating Pesanta. Oh, we got him. Please be over. Yes! It Kept You Busy. Oh my god, finally we got it. We beat the boss. This took so many attempts. Not gonna lie. That took probably about 20 tries. That was ridiculously difficult. Shortly after that, we grabbed had enough of preachers for beating Sadler. You wanna go, Sadler? Then let's go. We all know what you're supposed to do anyway. What you're supposed to do when you're on the hardest difficulty against the final boss. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> had enough of preachers. Get out of here, Sadler. You bitch. I'm done with your nonsense, mate. It's another trophy down. I then got the final two trophies of my first playthrough, Capable, Operative and Skilled Agent for beating the game on Standard and Hardcore mode. Boom, there it is. Okay, not the best rank ever. We got a rank B, not great, but considering, oh, Compatible uh, Operative, complete separate ways on Standard mode or higher than we should get. Yep, Skilled. Agent, complete separate ways on hardcore mode or higher. Nice. But uh, yeah, so there's my first playthrough. Went in blind, played on the hardest difficulty available right now, which is hardcore. Probably not the easiest thing to do. So once I'd done that, I could have jumped right into trying for the S plus rank next, which in hindsight, I probably should have. But instead, I wanted to get in an extra playthrough to unlock the knife and the Chicago sweeper to use on my third playthrough where I would go for the S plus rank. So I completed the game for a second time. I unlocked trophy number six, which was the perfect mission for beating the DLC on professional. So now those two unlocks I was talking about, the knife was somewhat useful because it didn't break, but the Chicago sweeper just was not worth it. Overall, it's probably a worse weapon than the normal standard SMG, but the kicker is it costs way, way more to upgrade. So I tried with this and it just did not work out. So I wouldn't recommend doing a playthrough for the knife and the Chicago sweeper because they're just really not worth it. I'd say go straight into your S plus rank playthrough. Anyway, with all that done, it's time to tackle the professional S plus rank. And let me tell you, this thing was no joke. I got my ass slapped so many times, I lost count. I raged more than I have since the final trophy in Sackboy and came insanely close to giving up. So first up, let's complete the intro boss, but not before failing. There we go, boom. Get out of here, mate. Boss fight one done. And stay gone. But then I made my way through the castle. I took out the catapults and escaped, which finished chapter one. At the start of chapter two, I had to make my way through the village. I did some sneaking, then stunned these guys so I could run past. 
Once I'd moved a little further, we arrived at the house. Silently, I took out some of the grenadoes, then headed around the side to grab a treasure. After that, I failed. So, I had to restart the whole game. That's how it goes. Oh my god. So, made my way back to that point, grabbed the treasure again. Avoided the Muppet this time. And made my way across the bridge. I grappled across some bridges towards the first puzzle and merchant request. Once I'd completed those. Okay, next. That's one job done. Once completed, we arrived at the church. Here we are, the church. Headed through the graveyard. Next, I grabbed another treasure. Nice little detail as well. You can actually hear Ashley inside crying. Shortly after that, we find the stranger. We hand in the request, sell some stuff, and buy the shotgun. And then shortly after, our second encounter with Pisanta. After a failed attempt, I took him down on my second try. I then spent some time in the village grabbing supplies, treasures, because we need the money for the upgrades. And that finished chapter two. Not fond of that, are we? Boom, got him. So heading into this chapter, I jumped through a window. I had to find a key to use on a draw. We got that. We headed outside the door and we got ambushed by the angry big cheese. So I'll get my running shoes on for a quick escape. Once I'd escaped, I arrived at the merchant. I saved the game because this next part was absolutely horrible. I had to kill two chainsaw enemies to advance. So about 15 attempts later, I'd finished them. Nice, we got him. Oof, that section is rough. It's such a difficult section. I made my way back through the village and towards the first proper boss, the El Gigante. This boss was insane. I just kept running out of ammo before I could even kill him. Okay. And at this point, I was almost ready to just throw in the towel and give up. Wow, this boss fight is insane. The dude literally takes about five trillion bullets. Whoa, what the hell? I've literally got nothing. How can I kill something with no stuff? I think you were literally just dead then. But 10 grueling attempts and about an hour later, I finally pulled it off. We beat El Gigante and finished chapter three. We got him. We maybe got him. Please tell me that's it. This boss is so difficult. It's crazy. No. It's not over. That's insane. Oh my god, that one little pistol shot right there. Four. Oh, I am so glad that's over. That was insanely hard, bro. So now jumping into chapter four, we're with Luis. The first fight in this area 
was so stressful, I actually ended up just running down the stairs and avoiding them, which I didn't even know you could do. Then shortly after, I needed to rush to save Luis before he dies, so we dashed through the flames and saved him. After that, we had a few puzzles to complete. They're all super easy and gave me no problems. The first one, we just placed these and matched the symbols. Next, I shot the three shields. And finally, I had to shoot these symbols to open the door, but we had to be super quick on the way back because we had a drill chasing us. So next was another really difficult part of the game. Do you remember those annoying armored plaga? Well, the back. So, after killing the first two outside, we head into this room, I grab the bottle, but of course, we get locked in. And so now, I had to fight what felt like a hundred of these bloody things. And to make it worse, there were two enemies with crossbows shooting at us while we were doing it. That was nowhere near me, bro. So, many, many attempts later, I finally got it done. Suck my tits. That room was insane. This, this is, I'm finding this DLC way harder than, than the original game. Like way, way harder. Unfortunately though, I had no time to breathe as we had another hard section, the maze. Luckily, somehow I got it done on my first try. I ran after the lantern guy straight away, blasted him with my shotgun. He buggered off a little bit. Then I blasted him with my SMG, killed him. Grabbed the item for the door and got the hell out of there. Glad that's over. The then we had to complete another super easy puzzle. This must be the collection room. Sweet. And that finished the chapter. Now, for this next chapter, we're heading down into the sewers. There's nothing too hard about the sewers area, at least until you arrive at this area, where you need to kill two of these guys. Now, just taking one of them out is hard enough, but somehow, by some miracle, I managed to do this as well on my first try, but not without a struggle. It probably took me about 10 to 15 minutes to do this section. I was just sneaking around. Did I do it? I think I got it. That was stressful. Oof, thank God for that. So with that super difficult area done, guess what? 
another hard part who'd have thought probably the hardest part of the whole run the u3 boss now i was absolutely buzzing that they put this boss fight back in it was one of the few and only things really missing from the remake that was in the original there was one other thing but we'll get to that and although the second part of the boss in the original was pretty good the first phase of the boss was pretty bad so not only did they include it in this game but they improved it now this boss he whipped my ass so bad i couldn't even remember what day it was but after many many attempts i finished the first phase of the fight and then went into phase two pretty confident Phase one, let's go. But I failed. <sighs> and then I failed again. And again. And I started to feel defeated. <laughs> Again, I was ready to throw in the towel. I can't fucking do it, man. This was such a bad idea. I, can, I don't know if I'm going to do this. I can't do, I don't think I can do it. Well, then the unthinkable happened with almost no ammo left. I beat the bloody thing. Oh my God, I think I've done it. This has been about no word of a lie. Two hours of trying. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's dead. No way, I need a moment. Holy crap. And now I wish I could say that was the end of the struggles, but it wasn't. I made my way through the caves and finished chapter five. So only two chapters to go. I raced through as fast as possible because remember, I still need to beat the game in under two hours and 30 minutes. So I'll run through the facility like I'm wearing some bright blue shoes. And stress levels were high as I ran past the regenerators. But it was now time for even more running. I ran. And I ran. Until I reached a lab where we were hunted by this thing. And then we reached a familiar room. Now everyone I think can agree we was all gutted when they removed the laser room. But now it has returned. So we got the cool ass laser room done and now it's time for the final push. I purchased a rocket launcher for the Sadler boss fight. Time to wrap things up. Made our way through. I need to hurry. 
and I now have five minutes to get to the end. I finally make it and this happens. That's ridiculous. Yep, the timer is over 2 hours and 30 minutes. Now, to say I was gutted is an understatement. I was ready to just call it a day and admit defeat. This game had put me through the ringer. So, I went to bed thinking, I'm done. I am not going to do this. But then, when I got back to my PS5, I thought, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to do it. So, I got to it. I loaded up my save and I tried my absolute best to save as much time as I could and get to the end. But no matter how many times I tried, I was just slightly too slow. And honestly, I don't think I had enough time. I think it was impossible. So, I loaded up an even older save and I just ran, hoping somehow I could shave off that one minute. And I couldn't. I just could not do it. So I started from an even earlier save than that. And it happened. The run. I bought my rocket launcher from the merchant. Got under there. Ran down here. These guys, I was like, nope, not dealing with you. I'm just going to run past. See you later. Loaded into Mr. Sadler. RPG to the face, mate. See you later. Started running. Time to wrap things up. I had to look at these fellas, dashed over, and I just ran. I need to hurry. Dodged an arrow, grappled across this. Just gotta keep moving, keep moving. These guys, flash, boom, run. Tried to just dash across there. Took these out. Right across. Boom. See you later. Get rid of that. Just gonna keep moving, keep moving. Gonna reload my weapon. Grab that so he stuns him. Get past him. Just gonna keep running. Grab the flash. Boom. Another flash out to stun all these guys. There's no way to get past these guys without stunning them. Knife that, get through the locked door. Now I'm doing this, what I feel is almost flawless. So I'm thinking to myself, if I don't do it on this attempt, I'm never going to get it. I keep running. Head up to the top. I see the RPG. Of course, we need to get the RPG to throw it to Leon. Right, I get that sucker. Now I think, you know what, I'm going to play it a bit safe. I'm going to take a few seconds to just grab some ammo. That's your cross here. Now I need to snipe this guy because he's got an RPG. And he blows you up in one hit. Boom. He's done. Right, so now we have to attack this thing so it moves. First I'm going to throw a flash because it spawns loads of these enemies. So I'll get rid of the eye. Boom. And then before I head over there, I need to reload because there's another two rocket launcher dudes at the bottom there. You can see them. And again, these all pretty much one shot you. So I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to reload. And then I head across because this other rocket launcher dude, I can just kick him in the face. So I get across. I check my time. It's looking okay, but I'm not sure. I'm nervous. Stab this guy. Check it again. Get out a heavy grenade. These guys come across. Boom. Come on, switch. Alright. Take out the eye. Now, stress levels are so high right now. I'm like, I'm going to fail again. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. Alright, so I craft some blast arrows. I get moving. I run, run, run. Running past all these, I need to save as much time as possible. We made it. Now we head up the left. And I jump across. Have I made it? Oh my god. I might actually do it. Oh my god. 
This is crazy. Yo, Ada, could you speed up, please? Oh my god, I think I've done it by 10, like, I'm gonna have done it by maybe like five seconds. Oh my god, I think I've done it. I think I had like five seconds. Please, 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 please. Oh, I had seven seconds. Holy shit. There it is. Ada, the S plus spy. Complete separate ways on professional mode with an S plus rank. That was so freaking difficult. That was insane. Seven seconds though. I couldn't have caught it much freaking closer than that. Oh my God, I'm, I'm done. Finally, I am so happy that's done. Thank God for that. Yeah, that was super difficult. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching this one. This one took quite a while to put together. I appreciate it though. Consider leaving a like and subscribing. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the next video.